So we're at the gallery on Wells today from the Harder River North, and we are just, we're the center. I always say that, look at all these buildings, I feel like we're in the center, but really, truly in this building on the 39th floor right now, I actually feel like we're in the center of River North. Now we're in this three bedroom. I love this entrance. I like to have a true foyer, a place where you can actually put something like a bench, Things that you use in your everyday life that you don't want in your living space can all go here. You can also have a great opportunity to put art on the walls, art down here, statues, all types of things. And they've whitewashed this entire unit. You can really think about what you would do with your own ideas, your own thoughts. Right off the bat, we have a coat closet right here. I like how they have this single pane window. So when you're walking towards your entrance, you look, it's like, bam, look at the feeder ramp right there. You can see what's happening in Chicago, what the traffic's like. It's like the blood of the city, it's pushing through. We have a bedroom right here, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Another bedroom right there, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. But we have this big living room right here that I like. Now, with floor to ceiling windows and a corner unit, it's gonna feel very large. And these high ceilings can make it feel deceiving, but this is only 9, 10 on ceiling height. So it's 10 inches large of a normal, but it feels much grander because we have all this glass we're surrounded by. This room itself is almost a perfect square. So you have a lot of space to work with here, 20 by 20, give or take, clear place for a couch right over there, dining over here. You can do lots of different things. I mean, they have all the TV set up over here, so that's why I said that. This makes sense. And then dining room, yeah, right here. You can even get a light to install right here with a junction box. So put it here. You have the balcony right here that you don't want to encroach on. Good size balcony too. Almost 15 feet. And you can see we're at the top of the building. Look right here. So one thing to keep in mind, I bring this up in a lot of penthouses. The only thing that penthouses don't have is they don't have an overhang, typically. They don't have this overhang protecting you from the elements. So when it snows, it rains, if you're a smoker, if you just wanna enjoy this space without getting rain and snowed on, it's unfortunate on this level that won't happen. So otherwise, this unit is very straightforward. Very straightforward island, thinner quartz. One thing I noticed, there's no soft clothes on these cabinets. It's something I definitely would expect at this price point. This is one of the few buildings in Chicago that has an elevator where you just type the number in and that takes you to the floor. It tells you which elevator to go to. So there's no panel in the elevator itself, but they don't have soft clothes cabinets, right? I don't think it adds up. They do have a nice tile backsplash, subway tile, very straightforward, very modest appliances. You know, we're in a penthouse unit. We're in a three bedroom. There should be nicer finishes in my opinion, but these are apartments at the end of the day. That's kind of the argument, but we're the, apartment market has been growing over the last couple of years, over this last decade, has been bigger, better apartments that feel like condos, live like apartments, have amenities like hotels. And it's a totally different feeling. And this building doesn't really have that. They have this basic top right here. It is a double sink. It is nice that they have that space. So we have a standard shower. That's nice. I have no complaints here. Uh, or a standard tub. And then a standard shower right here. Again, nothing to complain about. But based on what the price point is gonna be for something like this, when you're looking at competing products, there's gonna be a lot of stuff out there that offers a little more glitz, a little more glam at this price point on this level. That being said, I really like this unit. This is a really big master. And we're working at basically 11 and a half by over 16. So this is larger than your average master. And I just can't get over the openness. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be a lot to go here, especially in this environment that we're in right now. I think this is gonna be open for a while and to have that nice open space, it's really good. So this closet is five by five. You can tell there's little cutouts. I didn't do this cutout. What we're missing here, is like an extra two feet. So for this area, you have an extra two feet to work with, but otherwise this right here, this little square, five by five. Again, going to the organization and the glitz and glam and all the things you're paying for, this is a, a deficient closet setup. There is nothing else here. You have two racks, 
I mean, do they expect you to take care of this? I'm not quite sure. So I like the location. The building is very straightforward. I'm hoping that these price points reflect more of what we're seeing. We're at the gallery on Wells today. I'm talking because this is a nice junior one bedroom, otherwise known as a convertible. A lot of people look at these and they're like, I don't wanna live in a studio, but sometimes these junior one beds or convertibles as they're called, even heard them called other things, they live better than one bedrooms, okay? So cheaper price and all you're missing is a wall. Like this is a one bedroom without a wall right here. I'm sitting right where the wall would be. So why do you need the one bed? Ask yourself. Now the biggest area that these come up short sometimes is the closet space. So the closet's right over here and you have some closet space, but not a ton, right? Like this is all you have for this unit. So for a couple, I don't think so, no way. But for a single person, maybe with some better racks down below, the bathroom is the same as the other units here. The kitchen's just as big as a one bedroom, it might even be bigger. Like this is a legit kitchen setup. There's no wasted space here, tons of cabinets. I bet you have equal cubic square footage in these cabinets as you do in that closet actually. So there's a lot to work with. And then on top of that, living room right here, TV on this wall, even though it'd be, mm, mm, so mm, maybe. So this is interesting because your TV is definitely meant to be here, right? But how would you put a TV on this wall? Like you're gonna cover your thermostat, you're gonna cover the vent. I don't understand how this would work. So you'd have to have a, a couch here. So you're only gonna be limited. Adam, stand by the door. I'm gonna use you as a marker. So you have seven, nine to work with for a couch, which is enough space, I think, that that should be fine. But then you have all this space over here. So you'd have to run some type of wireless setup. But then where'd you put the TV? I'm, I'm still confused. You'd have to have it on like an arm mount, right? An omnidirectional arm mount right here and then kind of move it over the whole time and that's how it would work. Okay, so that's how it would work. I hope we don't hit any ductwork or something. But one thing that's nice, this is awesome balcony. And this balcony is really good size. So in terms of true livable space, there's nine three. But if you want to go wall to wall, you have 11 seven. So that's for the door swing. That's for this entry area right here, right? You notice this doesn't 
come past that or just comes past a little bit. You have this whole space to work with. You have an outlet over here. You can have a propane grill up here. This is nice. There's a lot to see here. I just love these views. They're clear. You can hear the city going all the time. There's even hallway space here. Come here. So you get a hall closet right here, very straightforward. And then you have your washer and dryer away from the bedroom as it should be. So we're looking at the nicest McDonald's in the country, solar panels on the entire roof, but let's not think about that one. The headquarters of McDonald's is in the West Loop. You can order off many, many, many of their international menus. Have you ever done that? You should. But today, we're at Z Gallery. Z Gallery, that's, that's a furniture place. No, we're at The Gallery on Wells. We're looking at apartments. We're in this two bed, two bath. We're right in River North, right in the heart. Awesome corner, floor to ceiling windows, nine foot ceilings. Let's, let's double check that. I'm guessing that. Interesting. Do you know why I said that? Because it just felt a little off to me. Your average apartment is nine feet on ceilings. This is eight five. So something to keep in mind, they did this to add extra floors, but if it feels a little short, now if you go to the Gold Coast, or if you go to things that were built basically pre 1980s, you're gonna have eight foot ceilings. Like I could touch them right now pretty much without breaking my suit. So what we have here, Vinyl floors throughout. You always show this is the plank floor, right? Very straightforward kitchen, quartz countertops, single bowl sink, garbage disposal, very straightforward appliances. I said this before, but no soft clothes on these cabinets, which is a little harsh to the ears. And at this price point, it's something I'd expect, especially in this market. I mean, most of these buildings are new around here and they all have it. So we have a huge walk-in closet right there, really good size, but the, organization solution, not so great. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. We're looking at six, five here. I do, I do like how they did single panel doors all over the place. Every unit, that's all we've seen. I think this is a very elegant, straightforward door. A lot of people don't like the columns in these rooms. It is nice that it's in a corner. It's not gonna really obstruct anything you wanna do because you're gonna put a bed here or I mean, you could put a bed here too if you don't watch TV. But you could even do the TV over there in that corner. I like the flexibility of this floor plan because you could definitely do an office setup over here. You could do a dresser over here if you wanted. And let's let's check out these dimensions. Yeah, so this is 163 by 101. Really good size. The 16 is the most important part. Thing to keep in mind though is that this space right here doesn't really count towards your room because you can't use it, so it can be misleading. And that space is 13.5. So you're basically losing just shy of three feet with this opening right here. Let's check out another room. Do you ever see these floor outlets? Do you know why they do these? It's because you have to have electrical every six feet. So in lieu of that, because we have a window, they do floor outlets. 
Just a little tip set there. One bathroom here, very straightforward countertops. All have drawers. This is, these are Advanta cabinets. So not Advanta, step your game up. But uh, nice straightforward bath, good size. You know, your average bathtub is five feet. That's what this is. I like subway tile. It's classic, timeless. It'll always work. And then this is your master. What's funny though, because that other bedroom was a corner. So that's why I was confused. I was just walking through here. It's like, where was the bathroom in that other room? That would be my master. I mean, this room might be a little bigger. I don't, I don't think so though. So we're 11.1 by 10.8 here. So this is the size of a smaller second bedroom and has a bathroom, has the closet, and the closet's smaller. Okay, so I don't know, you should watch our other videos in this building, or all of our videos in general. You should just watch all of them all the time. But this is 5'6", so about the same size actually. But I don't know, we're, we're having a hard time with this building. Nothing's really making sense. This whole suite set up here makes no sense at all. It's the smallest bedroom, plus it's not a corner. This is an office. I don't need a bathroom in my office but this is the one I'd use because then my guests are forced to use my other bathroom right here, which is the closest one to the, the master I would use as the master. Whatever. So then we have all these closets. I, I was gonna go through the wall here and be trying to be funny, but it, it didn't work. So instead you have two closets here, which seems like pointless to put a wall up here. Makes no sense. There's no need for that wall. Anyway, you don't want just a super long closet. That's the reason. So you have two, basically, six foot closets right here. And then a decent foyer. What I like about this foyer is when you enter, you are looking down a hallway or out a door. You can't see any of the living space. I could be doing anything I want in my home. You would have no idea when you come and bring up this pizza. But check this out. So. I'm not gonna start moving appliances, but you can see how much wasted space there is on each side of this. You absolutely, there is so much extra slack for all the, all the lines in the back. You could move this all the way this way, all the way that way. You'd have a huge storage area. I mean, here, let's see. Damn, so you'd have three feet. There's an extra three feet in this room that isn't being utilized. They should have cabinetry there. I'm missing a lot of stuff like that, but hey, Maybe you like this for the price point. Maybe you like it for the location. I wanna show you this in any apartment in Chicago. So hit me up. I'm gonna save you time. I'm gonna save you energy. And I'm a good contact to have in Chicago. Reach out.